Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we'll learn how we can improve your typing productivity with Notepad++ snippets. Now, how much of your work do you spend typing the same text over and over again? Or, a, or, or it could be a phrase or email address or email signature or a particular paragraph that you send it to multiple people throughout the day or a week. Now, you could be a really fast typer but all of these repetition really waste your time. And so that's where the snippet comes into picture. A snippet is a small block of, uh, of a text that you most commonly use throughout your day. And you can set it up once and then you assign a abbreviation or a shortcut to these snippets. And then once you set it up, you can reuse that uh, over and over again with just a click of a button. And so these snippets can be just a commonly used phrases or a code snippets if you're a developer uh, or a particular sentence as well. And so in this video, we'll learn how you can use Notepad++ snippet. And so we will be using a plugin called snippets. And so let's go to plugins and go to plugin admin and just search for snippet. Now, in order to use this, you will need Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, you can go to their website, notepad++.org, I believe, and you can download and install Notepad++. It's a free open source software, uh, which is a simple and yet very powerful text editor. All right, so once you have that, you go to plugins, plugins admin, search for snippet, and then I'm going to select snippet and going to click install. Now it'll ask me to restart, so I'm going to restart Notepad++. And now we have installed NPP snippets, or, or, or also known as snippets, right? So go to plugins, and right here these uh, plugin, this particular plugin is installed. Now as soon as you install this plugin, you will see that it comes with a set of libraries, as as it calls it, uh, of different different programming languages and a commonly used uh, phrases or, or code blocks for that. For example, if you are working with HTML, uh, you can use all those snippets associated with HTML or if you use CSS or JavaScript or PHP or any other of these programming language. So let's try. I'm going to create one HTML file. So I'm going to double click on HTML. And you can see that right as I double click on it, it automatically created this, this sort of a framework or a, or a skeleton for HTML file. Now, if you're familiar with the HTML, you can just use any of these commonly used HTML tag. You don't need to type. So for example, let's say we will start with a header or heading block. And I can say this is a heading one. And then let's say I would like to add an image. So there is an image snippet. So I double click on it. It'll ask me for the source file, so image. And then you can have a alternative text and then width, height, and all of these if you need to. But it, it creates this nicely modified or, or added uh, uh, a text where you can change uh, all your settings and you don't need to type uh, the repetitive part of it. Now let's say I want to add an horizontal rule. I double click on that and there you go. Now it, it can handle far more complicated uh, tags also. So let's go and let's do the order list. And so here you can see that it actually created an order list and also created two list items. And so so you get the point. The snippet is is, is again a code block or a, or a repeat or a frequently used text that you can automate using this plugin. Now let's go back and we'll change it to CSS. Again, you can see in CSS, there's all these frequently used, uh, you know, tags and uh, that you can take advantage of. So for example, if I have a CSS file, imagine that this is CSS, then you can set it up all these properties, CSS properties using, uh, using the snippets without really typing all these details. In fact, it is very useful. Sometimes you might forget some some of these properties, and you might wonder what was the name. You may be, uh, you may rough, roughly remember the name, and so this list can help you. Uh, just looking at it, and you, it might help you remember these 
properties. So same with HTML, CSS, even JavaScript. So let's go ahead and open JavaScript. And again, you have a number of options there. So this plugin is known as, or this plugin calls these as libraries. So these are the libraries that are already available, but you're not limited to that. Now you can create your own library because pretty much all of us have a, a, a specific set of text or, 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 or particular words that we use very frequently. And so uh, you can set up your own library and just set up all the frequently used sentences or, or phrases that, that, that you may want to use. So let me take a quick break. Uh, let me share my channel page. I post new videos about Notepad++ and HTML and many other things uh, to help you make a better programmer. And so make sure you check my channel page. And if you like the content, please click on the subscribe button and make sure you click on the, uh, the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. All right, so let's continue. So let's try that. I'm going to go and going to create a new library. So I'll go back to templates uh, and templates are the, the, the libraries here. So I'm going to right click here uh, actually and then click add. Oops, sorry. So I have to right click here. Yep, sorry about that. So here, if you want to create a new snippet you can add it here but if you want to create a new library you can right click on the template and here it gives you an option you can add it existing library in in my case i'm going to create a new library and i'm just going to call it my lab my lib created by amit and this is a commonly used phrases by me right so i'm going to click ok uh, and now if you notice it actually created this my lib library so let's go there now currently it doesn't have anything because we haven't set up any snippet yet so let's go ahead and create a new so i'm going to right click here click add and let's for example just create a very simple uh, uh, maybe signature right so i'll call it signature and this is the the abbreviation or shortcut and i'm going to call it personal and then uh, let's say so so in order to create a snippet you can have uh, some kind of text before the cursor and the after the cursor so you will see what i mean so i'm going to say it's best regards and press enter and here i'm going to say well you know after the cursor i want to type my name and so i gave the the shortcut or a snippet name before cursor and after cursor and I'm going to click OK and let's open a new file here I would like to test these so all I have to do is just click on this and there you go you can see that it it just typed for me the the signature that I just created so let me create some more I'm going to pause the video and add few more snippets and then we'll continue all right, so I have created a number of snippets here. I created one for address. Uh, I added some another signature for a support sort of, uh, you know, uh, emails. And then also added a quote that probably I would like to add it in my email or, or wherever I'm just posting up, uh, uh, typing this text. All right, so let's test these out. And if I double click on the address, you can see that it just printed the address. This is a Microsoft address, by the way. And then maybe I want to add a quote. So I double click on it and you can see that it is a quote that I just added. Uh, I can also have a support signature and you can see that it just added a support signature. And so you can create your own list of uh, uh, snippets in your library and you're not limited to your, just a single sn uh, library. You can create multiple libraries uh, according to your needs. Uh, one thing I uh, will also say that any of the existing snippets can also be modified so for example if there is a particular snippet that you would like to modify in in according to you, how you would like you can right click on it go to add it and then you can add it these snippets that are already available and so you have a full control of, over all the snippets that come installed uh, when you install these plugin 
this particular plugin or you can create your own snippets uh, in here also and so we just learned how you can quickly uh, create these snippets which can really save you a lot of time typing the same text over and over again so that's about it i hope you learned something new if you if you like this video please click on the like button and if you like this content and if you want to learn more about notepad plus plus uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel i post new videos about notepad plus plus almost every week and so uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon if you would like to get notified all right thank you very much